Injection molding is a common manufacturing process used to produce high volume plastic parts. Everyday items such as food storage containers, cell phone cases, automotive parts, and housings are all manufactured using injection molding. In this video, we will illustrate the basic components of an injection molding machine, describe the phases of the injection molding simulation cycle, including the filling phase, which is impacted by part design, packing and cooling phase, which impacts the quality of the molded part, and the ejection phase, which influences how much the part warps. The injection molding process starts with an injection molding machine. The injection molding machine contains three distinct sections, the injection unit, the clamping unit, in the mold that makes the various plastic parts. Plastic pellets are fed into the hopper attached to the injection unit. From the hopper, they move into the barrel where they are melted by the reciprocating screw. An important fact about plastics is they expand slightly in volume as they transition from the solid to the liquid state, and shrink as they cool back down and solidify. This has significant implications in the injection molding process and must be compensated for during the molding cycle. The reciprocating screw moves forward and injects the slightly higher volume molten plastic into the mold. As the plastic fills the mold, however, it is already starting to cool. This is the filling phase and takes from as little as 0.1 seconds for small parts, like electrical connectors, to 5 to 10 seconds for larger parts, such as automotive bumpers or waste containers. Once the mold cavity is filled, the shrinking, cooling plastic can leave empty gaps in the mold. To compensate for the volumetric shrinkage that occurs as the plastic solidifies, extra material is forced into the mold under high pressure. When no additional material can be forced into the mold, the pressure is released and the part continues to cool to the ejection temperature. This is the packing and cooling phase. When the part reaches the ejection temperature, the mold opens and the part is ejected. The mold closes and the process is repeated. This is called the ejection phase. Injection molding simulation in Fusion 360 simulates this process, enabling you to discover if your design can be injection molded to produce a high quality part. In this video, we reviewed typical injection molded parts, looked at the basic components of an injection molding machine, and talked about the various steps within the injection molding process, including the filling phase, the packing and cooling phase, and the ejection phase. 